What's up, Cichlid Fanatics? It's Jay Wilson, and you are looking at an Alan Akara, Jacob Freiburgi, Kate McClear breeding group, and it's ridiculous. Uh, I set it up. Everything's looking lush, so to speak. The male's got a little issue with his right eye. That was caused by me trying to get him out of a tank with a net, and he nicked himself on a piece of plastic tubing that was attached to the sponge filters. Crap. But the male is definitely epic, and... Little couple tidbits about these guys. They're one of the very few cave-dwelling peacocks in Lake Malawi. And um, I think the coolest thing about them is they listen in the sand. So if, if you're watching these fish, they'll kind of kind of hang out by their cave, down by the sand. And then when they hear, using their sonar pits in the front of their face, they go crazy. And they attack the sand and sift through it and get their food. So maybe these are the new... Uh, carnivore fish, uh, predator peacocks. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm making that up. I'm, I'm being facetious. But, um, you know, the more and more I talk about it, um, Lake Malawi is a wonderful lake. It's beautiful. And I think it's time that I move on to another lake. <laughs> I'm peacocked and happed out. Um, they're beautiful fish. I still recommend them for folks when they're first getting into the hobby with African cichlids. Uh, but it seems there's just so many out there and I want to do stuff that's that's different, you know, and, and you want to do something that, that you're into. And so I always recommend you do what you do because you enjoy it. Don't do it because everybody else is doing it. And so I'm pretty sure this is going to be my last species only Lake Malawi tank. I'll still keep the predator haps and, and things like that because they're just big and I think they're beautiful in what they do. But I think it's time to move on, and you know where I'm going with this, Lake Tanganyika. But um, before I jump on the Lake Tanganyika train that I'm going to start uh, <laughs> driving the, the locomotive, um, I'm really excited with this breeding group. One is because I haven't bred fish since the Lithobay accident that I had a long time ago when my heater just stayed on, and I was still learning, and it, it, it just got too hot. But So anyways... Uh, really cool setup that I got going on here. I just threw rocks in the center. I got the cave for the bad boy on the right hand side. It's made of two rocks and I, I threw a rock on top. Yes, everything's from Universal Rocks. Makes it easier. But this tank's a 60 by 20 by 20 if I did not say that already. It's 100 gallons and it does really well for these guys. I think I've got a couple extra males in there. Uh, but that dominant male right there is, uh, yeah, he is a, he's a masterpiece. And I, I couldn't expect anything less from Southeast Cichlids. I mean, when I reached out to Butch and said, hey, look, I think I want to breed peacocks one more time. What should I do? And he said, hey, uh, let's get you some cool Kate McClear, and we'll see how it goes. And it's going really well. I'm enjoying them. Um, and once I've kind of run the course, then uh, we'll figure out what's what's going to happen. But some really neat things that are, that are spurring up here on the channel. I've got Wednesday sub-up of the week, so if you're interested and you'd like to be a part of that, it's every Wednesday. I'm a few Wednesdays out. And it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have. It doesn't matter if you think you're popular or if you're not popular. Uh, honestly, it's up to you. If you want to be a part of it, great. And if you don't, then you don't. Um, it's just a way to get people to know more fish keepers in the hobby uh, because YouTube is saturated with with fish keepers, let alone African cichlid keepers. It's it's just saturated. So you, you may have some amazing content or a great story, and people are going to miss that um, you know, because there's so many and... Maybe I can help a little bit. Uh, I'm not looking for anything in return. I just I want to get everybody out there. Uh, I think it was really cool when I first started with the people that helped me, and I want to pay that forward. So uh, outside of that, I've got um, Mondays are I do nothing. <laughs> Tuesdays I do nothing. Wednesdays sub up of the week. Thursday nothing. Friday I've got you know it's either going to be a video like this. It'll be a live video. It's kind of that fun day. Maybe I'll blow up some aquariums. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But then Sundays are kind of the bread and butter. They're the ones that I really focus in on showcasing something or bringing a lot more education. So uh, those are my staple. But honestly, anything can change. And I'm going to be starting a series soon. You'll see a promo video for that. I think it's going to be pretty, pretty cool uh, from another amazing YouTuber and me going head to head on a lot of different topics. I've tried this before with a few other people, but uh, you know, it kind of just fizzles out because. You know, people go their own ways. They do their own thing. So it's, it's time to, to do it again because I find it fun. And that's why I'm doing it. So 
Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to shut up because I'm rambling. You're going to enjoy some music with the Jacob Freeberg guy, Kate McClear. And if you want some, check out southeastcichlids.com. And if you don't, get what you want. Folks, thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, tweeting, retweeting, double tapping, following, liking, subscribing, hitting the bell. That's what makes these, these channels relevant. I greatly appreciate that. And remember, do something nice for somebody. And it doesn't mean just give them money or anything like that. It's maybe tell them their hair looks good or uh, the shirt that they're wearing compliments them. And it's not just men to women or women to men. It's to anyone. If somebody looks like they're frowning, try to make them smile. You'll be a better person for it. They'll feel better and probably do it in return. And that's what makes this world a better place. And that's why I enjoy fish keeping because it makes the world, in my mind, a better place. You know what's next. Holla!